had a request this morning to give instruction for how to create a transparent texture or, or rather a texture with alpha transparency and sometimes this terminology is called alpha channels in, in a model and so what we want to do is first we we find our image and I'm going to use this which is actually a screenshot of a leaf on a model that I created but we can use this uh, as a very good example for how to create an alpha transparency so I just want to I use thumbs plus you can use whatever program you want and so I'm going to copy that image and then I go to Photoshop uh, the only two programs I know of for sure that will create textures with alpha transparency are Adobe Photoshop and uh, Paint Shop Pro I think it's Paint Shop Pro shoot I can't remember for sure anyway it's uh, version 9 or earlier um, they were bought out by a company who turned it into a photo editing program and completely removed the alpha channels ability of that software. Um, so I, I recommend Photoshop. I believe GIMP can also do it. I have not used GIMP personally, so I cannot give instruction on how to use that software. Uh, but it probably can. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create a new uh, image in Photoshop make sure transparent is selected down here and that your size is the correct size for your image nice. then we paste on top of this nope that's not going to work undo we want a new layer sometimes when I paste it makes a new layer and sometimes it doesn't I haven't quite figured out what the difference is anyway we need a second layer and this will be our leaf layer you can name it or not it doesn't really matter um, and so now we want to paste onto our second layer and it um, where is it it went away there it is paste edit and paste and now then you can see over here let me full size this that's better so you can see over here um, on the right we have a transparent layer and then we have a texture layer now I'm going to use my magic wand tool I have it set pretty high to 50 so it will clear out everything and just press the delete button and that deletes all of that blue background you can come through here and grab these little bits down below also if you want to get real precise with it open up those areas I could do all this down here, but I'm not going to. Um, and then, now we've got our texture. Now, if you're making it for a game, you want to be sure that your texture is a power of 2. Uh, so it needs to be um, 512 by 512, or 128 by 128, or 256 by 256. Uh, 16 by 16, although that'd be extremely small um, and wouldn't be a very good texture uh, it would be very stretched um, although I did make one yesterday it actually was just um, the alpha transparency with no texture on it and that di is 16 by 16 and it worked perfectly and so now we have this, we crop it we crop our image down to size I'm going to make sure that the image size is square. So we will do this 512 and unselect constrained proportions by 512. Yes, it will stretch your image if you want to make it. Uh, otherwise, if you don't want to stretch it, um, you can also do this. You can go, instead of image size, you can go to canvas size. And if you want your leaf to be joined at the bottom here, you'll change the location where it stretches to, and you'll go there. So you can change this. And this will determine where your base image is located and where the new texture area will be. 
and so I want to make this a perfect square and so I'm going to make my lower number match my upper number so that would be 12.639 and click OK and now then it's a square it has not been stretched it just added some extra canvas um, to the top area and my bottom still connects with the bottom and now then I will go to image size and reduce that down to 512 by 512 keep it on constrained proportions and it will maintain it for me um, your resolution can be 72 in a game of course if you're making something for t-shirt printing uh, or, or clothing printing of any sort it needs to be 300 resolution um, and publishing also needs to be 300 resolution but now we have that now to save and this is important to retain your alpha transparencies is how you save it you cannot use the default PNG which is here you need to go to a website and get the super PNG plugin for Photoshop the default PNG will not save your alpha transparency channels but it must be a PNG image so you want to go get your super PNG follow the instructions to plug that in and then you'll just select that from the drop down menu once it's plugged in and you will save it like this I'm just going to call it alpha test move it up a couple notches and click save and you want to make sure your PNG interlacing is checkmarked that uh, preserves the alpha channels and press OK that's all there is to it now then you can take this texture and put it into a model load up milk shape little musical interlude while we wait for it to load up except there is no music and we create a new plane like this and we add the texture new new texture and open file and I believe it's in here somewhere I forgot where I saved it there it is and so we just call it alpha test and you can roll it around in your little window here and assign it and now then you can see it with its alpha channels um, on your flat plane of course the back side is not is going to be invisible because we didn't we didn't make a box we just made a flat plane but this can be used now as a texture that's it. There's, there's no more magic to it than that. Hope this helps.